and press Z to synchronize. Oh man, it was such a long climb. But finally, I'm on the edge. And I have a viewpoint because I can now synchronize. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Paladin Plays Okami. Last episode, we climbed Catcall Tower twice uh, in order to get the new brush technique, Catwalk, which will enable us to uh, wall, jump wall jump infinitely, so we can basically climb on walls. This episode, well, uh, we just synchronized on the end of this tower, and we have a new, new unit of health. I may be thinking of a different game series. Uh, and now that we've done so, we can jump all the way he from here, from the top, into a bale of hay waiting for us below to break our fall of however many thousand feet this is. So, let's go ahead and get this started. Leap of faith, as they call it in that game series that I'm referencing. Will I land in the hay, or will I be a pancake? Find out today and I made it not in a bale of hay but on a bush so uh, this episode we with our new technique catwalk we're going to be going back to the shores of North Ryushima coast to uh, see to explore places that we could not explore before without the technique so let's go okay uh, I, I don't feel like I should cut out me me swimming back there because it's actually really short Instead, I will talk to you guys about something I just watched. I, I just watched the, uh, I just watched the another movie, not in theaters, but I watched yet another movie recently, one that is fairly new. I watched the Lego movie, and man, I have got to say, movies. It, it, I'm not sure if it's just me, but it seems like movies have gotten a lot better over the years because we have we have Interstellar, we have The Hobbit. I mean, we had Lord of the Rings way back in the day, but that was like. 10, wow, it was 10 years ago now, and, you know, they, they weren't really consistent back then. Uh, to me, it seems like movies have gotten a lot better. Maybe I'm just a little bit more aware of them. I mean, I, I know for, for the most part, you know, there are a lot, I, I know the news of new movies coming out, like uh, Jurassic World, yeah, it's called Jurassic World, not Park, who'd have thought, uh, or, or uh, what's another movie, uh, the, the Minecraft movie, well, that's not confirmed. Uh, the The movie rights were just sold by Mojang, which is now Microsoft, which is amazing. So yeah, you know all these things. The Last of Us movie that is rumored to be in progress and probably, I believe, is, and all that stuff. It just it's just really cool. So anyway, uh, now that we're back at the shore, there's there was a cat statue over here. I think I'm not sure if I had drawn anyone's attention to it. But it was it was here all, the whole time, so I don't feel like I was failing in any respect. It's not new. But what is new is our technique of catwalk, if I can actually use it. There we go. That that should be good. I don't know. Is it good? No. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? Can I go into first person and still do it? I may be able to do this. Maybe. Did that work? I I hope I hope so, because otherwise I'm I'm a little bit at a loss to how I'm supposed to reach the top. Did I make it? Oh, I barely made it. I barely made it. Okay, in this cave is some stuff, some chests. In this one is a lacquerware set. Very nice. In this one, it is an exorcism slip L, okay. And in the last one. In the last one is a vengeance slip. So yeah, that's one of the things that we can that we can uh, access with catwalk. There are a bunch of catwalk statues all across Nippon, and I will be covering them at some point, just not this episode. Must be the grave of some uh, grave of a traveler or something. I mean, why else would it be all the way out here? Yeah, why else indeed? But. Unfortunately, we don't get any explanation other than that. It's kind of sad, but it also it also kind of shows that Amaterasu's story isn't the story. It's not the center of everything that's going on in the poem. There are many things happening without her. Okay, uh, if you remember, we had talked to a fisherman. Wow, it's been two episodes ago now, and he he had done some fishing for this restaurant. 
and we helped him fish up the great marlin, and then we never saw him again, or the marlin, and we never returned here to see what the chef thought. We're going to be doing that now. And oh snap, I have to remember my voice for this guy. It was like something very serious and scary, because he's... Oh, there's the marlin, okay. Okay, let's see if I can remember it. Hello, doggy. Feast your eyes on this lively r wiggler. That awful water dragon scared off all the fish in the sea. But just look at the size of this marlin. I need juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. I think that I think this is the voice I used. If not, this is a very fun one. Only the freshest will do. Now that I finally got my hands on some fine ingredients, it's time to sharpen up my knives and my skills again. Seeing as you're here, doggy, why don't you stay and watch? It's not often I get a fish as good as this one. And not often you'll get to see the knife skills like mine at close up. Enough chit-chat. There's no time to lose. Because if you actually were a true witness to my knife skills, you'd never see them at all. Because they would be used on you. This freshness cannot go to waste. It would be an insult to the fish. Stand back, doggy. The great chef Umi is about to unleash his cyclone slice. Death, retirement, Alzheimer's, and um, gout. The Trinity of old age. It is. I I I, I have no name for this. Time. There you go. Man, them some fine skills. He he cut that thing up so well that he produced five separate faces from that one fish. That's how good of a knife guy a knife guy knife guy. That's how good of a chef he is. He can chop up one thing and make it multiple. Oh, there we have the explanation for feeding the 5,000. Wahoo! My best handiwork ever. My skills were getting a little rusty. But now I've reached new heights. I've matured. The fish must be fresh. The dish must be quick. If I sharpen up these blades, I'll be serving up a whale next time. At least he won't be serving up Wolf because we have a uh, we have a brush technique to ward him off. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. My power had diminished while you were away, but that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you a new power. Dance like a raging whirlwind. He'd make a better warrior than a chef, the way he wields knives. Hey, I just thought of something, Ami. Whirlwind, that other power of Kazagami, was pretty intense. I bet his enthusiasm, uh, enthusiasm, w which, whoa. I bet his enthusiasm was what awakened it. There. If, if it could be, if it could do that to a marlin, just think of what it could do to those pesky monsters. 20 praise, okay. I don't know why he was praising the thing he wanted to eat. And whoa, food, food! Oh, I got it. Yes, sashimi. Luxurious, specially prepared dish. Completely fills astral pouch. You guys remember that one thing we got a long time ago? Well, <laughs> that was really specific. Uh, when we got fire burst and we got all those meals that fill our astral pouch. This is another food that does that. So I only got one, but my astral pouch is already full. Okay. Uh, we get uh, Gale Storm Tech. Okay, not really helpful, but because because I can just explain it. So uh, we can draw three lines. Uh, we can draw them parallel to each other, like is shown there, or we can just draw three straight lines, and it will work the same way. This is a super useful technique because this acts like a shield. Only problem with it is your ink will not respawn while it is active. So yeah, if you if you use it and your and you completely run out of ink, I'm pretty sure uh, your ink will not start restoring restoring you until after the technique has expired. So that is something to be aware of. 
Uh, but yeah, it works as a really good barrier. It pops enemies up. And yeah, it's really good for stunning a big group of imps. It's not quite as useful on big monsters that can't flinch like imps can, but it is still useful because it does constant damage to anyone nearby. Super useful. Okay, let's go. And also, this it's very unique because uh, before, you know, with Fire Burst, it was a technique where we could only use it if there's a brush nearby, but now we could use it like so. But with this, we could have used wind anywhere. We could always use wind. We always had that ability. Well, not always, but since we got the Gale Storm. But now we have a, a better means to channel it into something that can affect enemies that aren't just weak to it. So that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, now, where are we going to be going, you ask? Well, there was one cat statue that we saw right at the very beginning, or the very entrance to this area. We don't have to leave the area at all, but it is a little bit, uh, a little bit over here. <laughs> there, that was very articulate. Okay, so it's right here. We, it was one of the first things we encountered after Waka. It is right over here, and there it is. So we just use, uh, we just use Catwalk to climb up the side of this plateau. So we don't even need the stairs because we have uh, effectively a ladder. And we can get up here. It's kind of in ruins, except for that really colorful part right there. I don't know what's up with that. I guess the whole thing used to be that color. It's it's pretty much in ruins, though, but it is it is actually pretty cool that we can get up here. Uh, let's go ahead and feed these tigers and then talk to that good dude over there. Fifteen praise! Okay, you guys remember when I said a long time ago, I said that fish feed bags were not useful, but they would become useful, and I'd mention later that they're useful here. Well, here's how useful they are. I start off with like 10 or 11 fish feed bags, and I'm down to one. But that aside, we have a new enemy. This is a... The Blue Cyclops. Okay, this enemy is scary and frightening. It will unleash this attack, which is poison, right? Do not block this attack with Gale Storm ever. If you do, I'll actually show you because it is bad news bears and I want you guys to see what I should what you should never do. Okay, when it uses this, okay, come on, come on. Well, I'll just show you. If you use Gale Storm on it, uh, whether or not you're blocking its poison attack or just normally try and blow it down like you would a Crotangu. Uh It didn't work. Didn't work. It didn't work. There it is, okay. If you do that, it will enter its chaos form, where it is invincible to anything and will do a lot of damage to you really quickly. Uh, to make it go back into its normal form, you can just wait or you can actually just relight the pipe and it will work the same way. Instead, what you want to do, instead of uh, you blocking its attacks, is you want to go full on aggro and, and you want to just attack it. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy, no, 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 fire, fire burst, fire burst, fire burst, come on, come on, fire burst, don't, don't, oh, oh, good. Okay, now we do not have its floral finisher, so I can't actually use it or show the enemy bio, so that's really sad, but we'll be seeing this enemy again. We'll be seeing this enemy again. Oh. Huh? Someone there? Uh, use the other end of the telescope, buddy. Use the other end, and you can see what's close up. This is Watcher's Cape. It said the gods once used this place to return to the heavens. At night, this place offered a great view of the starry sky. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy was bi visible from the cape's tip. Whirlpool Galaxy? It's a group of stars. They form the shape of a great spiral, like a heavenly whirlpool. But since that demon the demon-shaped island appeared out of the sea, there are, there are more and more monsters about, and the skies have dulled. The magnificent starry view can no longer be seen. You can't see the stars in the middle of the day, but when night falls, I got, I've got a wish to make a, uh, upon a shooting star. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. That is so a lesson that you can teach your ch kids, children. If there's a star and you wish upon it, it will come true. 
So yeah, uh, going back to the blue Cyclops, oh my word, that enemy haunted me in my first playthrough. Because I didn't actually know you could relight the pipe, I just thought you had to wait through its chaos form. And thus, when there are instances of multiple blue Cyclops, I would block one of their poison attacks, and all of them would enter chaos form, and I would be pretty effectively turned into scrap metal. Even though Matarasu is a wolf, but just roll with me on it. Yeah, it was really bad. I did not how to know how to dodge the chaos form, so I actually just got really, really good at spamming that sub-reflector button. Because while it doesn't actually re execute a counterattack, it shields all of the damage, and that's the only way to shield all of the damage. So I just got really good at perfect shielding it like that. But now that I know, now that I know, you can actually just uh, turn off their chaos form. Uh, I will be making use of that in battles. What, I, what I'll probably be doing is I'll probably use Gale Storm to block their attack, but then I'll immediately use uh, Fire Burst to make sure that they don't go berserk. Watcher's Cape. Let's see, it says, When the Whirlpool Galaxy spins in the distant heavens, a whirlpool sh shall soon open below. Didn't Orca say the entrance to the Dragon Palace was a whirlpool? But I don't really get this when the Whirlpool Galaxy spins part. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, he did mention when at night time we should do that, so my guess after we examine this is that we should change it to night time. That whirlpool picture looks kind of like a windmill or something. Why is this place called Watcher's Cape anyway? The view is nothing to write home about. Yeah, it is kinda it is kind of generic ocean view, I guess. But that's why we turn it to nighttime, because Xenoblade has taught me if an area does not look absolutely fantastic by day, turn it to night, and it could look breathtaking. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Not. <laughs> like, apparently not in this game. Well, let's go talk to that guy, because he talked about Shooting Star and the Spiral get the spiral Spin Galaxy, the Spin Dig Galaxy, and Mario Galaxy. He talked about all those galaxies, so let's talk to him. Yeah. I'm here in the hope that I'll be able to make a wish, but Shooting Stars are rare now, not like before. Ah, <sighs> if only a star would shoot across the night sky, then I could make a wish upon it. If you wish upon a star, it always comes true. Even the Whirlpool Galaxy might appear in the sky again. Why don't you stand next to me and help me look for shooting stars? So, that is a hint. We've never had to use this for anything related to anything of the story or side quests up until now, but now it is demanded upon us that we use this. It was only hinted, hinted at that you could use this ability once in the entire game, and that was in the very first episode when Isun tried to fill in one of the Celestial Gods' constellation. So, if we draw a dot in the night sky, the same thing should happen to us. A shooting star. There! A shooting star! I've got to make my wish right now! Hmm, I wish the sky was a, as magnificent as it was in the past, and that the Whirlpool Galaxy w was visible again. What do you know? Th that's it! The Whirlpool Galaxy! My wish really did come true! Happy to help, buddy. Happy to help. The Whirlpool Galaxy it really is amazing. Have you noticed, Doggy? There's that huge Whirlpool Galaxy in the sky, but it's not reflected in the sea at all. See? There should be a Whirlpool in the sea, under the one in the sky. It's the entrance to the domain of the Sea God. But when the demons began to stir, the Whirlpool Galaxy was obscured, and the Whirlpool in the sea would disappear too. In the past, both the whirlpool in the sky and the one in the sea were powerful vortexes, each spinning like a mighty windmill. Hmm. Windmill, eh? Well, I remember what we did when there was a windmill. We used, uh, Gale Storm. So let's go ahead and use that now. Wow, check out that whirlpool of stars. It's li like a huge windmill in the night sky. They say a Whirlpool Galaxy is the key to the Dragon Palace. If so, then the Whirlpool entrance should be somewhere under it. Hmm. The sea looks pretty calm to me, and the Whirlpool Galaxy isn't even swirling. What do you... what do you... what... what do we gotta do to make that Whirlpool entrance appear? Hmm. Well, 
I did say windmill, so let's use Gale Storm on it. I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that starry whirlpool round and round. Try it again, Ami. Keep using that wind power of yours. Oh, it's working. It's working. And... Third time's the charm. Da 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 Look! The Whirlpool entrance to the Dragon Palace! The Whirlpool Galaxy is bringing it to the surface! Okay, Ami, it's about time we got down to that Dragon Palace. Let's go teach those Dragonians a lesson. They're gonna pay for not keeping that Water Dragon on a leash. Stare into its center. Stare into it! I demand of you! Stare into that center and unleash your doom! Stare into that center and go running through your neighborhoods and see where you end up. That is the true law of Star Trip. Seriously, this is actually making me dizzy just staring at this right now. I should like <laughs> I should try staring into this lift for like 10 minutes and see how crazy and dizzy I get. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, that is a very spectacular spectacular view. That's one of the uh, more underrated sights in Okami. Although, I kind of actually liked it before it was spinning that fast. So, uh, now that we have opened up the, the whirlpool in the sea, we can uh, we can go over to Orca and have him ferry us into it. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, this thing. I forgot about this thing. Now that we have Power Slash 2, we can use this. Also, I need to start remembering to use Power Slash as a viable means of dealing damage because uh, of late with power slash one we didn't really it wasn't really useful because it didn't have that high of a uh, damage output but now it does and it's useful on the newer enemies so I should be I should be remembering to make use of it and no I don't want it to be daytime what are you thinking game game nighttime nighttime there you go wait whoa 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 wait, 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 wait. did you guys see that no. Day. I... Turn it to day when I want you to. It was the little girl. Wait, whoa. Okay, I need to check this out. Oh, Urashima. The great Urashima. You're so cool. Whoa! The tables have turned. The tables have turned. Come on, let me talk to you. Oh, Urashima. The great Urashima. We were wrong. You were right all along. Oh man, bad dog! Can I hit her? Ouch, that hurt! Serves you right. Beating a poor boy with bucket boy with your sticks. It really was at the pier. Poor, I mean, Orca, I mean. We didn't believe him, but Urashima was telling the truth. Oh, Urashima, the great Urashima. We were wrong and you were right all along. Urashima, what do you have to say? Howdy there, pooch. Y'all make it to the Dragon Palace? That whirlpool done sucked you to the bottom of the sea, huh? Not yet. I'm as happy as a pig in a slop to hear you made it. Anyway, I reckon I'm bitten a pickle right now. I want to go fish in the sea, but those fo these folks are in my way. <laughs> so even, even when they're not meaning it, they're actually being bullies to him, sort of. I mean, they're they're waylaying him. I guess, that, I guess that's a form of bullying. I don't know. I, I didn't really... Well, I did be deal with bullies back when I... No, I won't talk about it. But, yeah, it, it was more verbal bullying than anything. I, 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 they, would always, they would always not, like, harass me physically because they knew that I had a nasty bite on me. Yeah. Yeah, you, got, you guys who are bullied, you guys just remember to bite, always. And actually, I'm just making this up. But yeah, I have dealt with bullies in my time. Okay. Uh, bullies aside, because bullies are bad, even bullies who don't mean to be bullies are still bad. Actually, they're arguably worse, because you can't really talk sense into them, and sometimes you can talk sense into bullies. And then, like, the best way to do with a bully is befriend them, but you can't really do that if they're already your friend. But Okay, I need to stop going into this. We're not talking about this right now. We're talking about the Whirlpool, which is the best means of escape from the Water Dragon.
Man, the water dragon was right up in our grill before we did that. Dragon Palace. Finally, Ami. We made it through the whirlpool down to the bottom of the sea. This must be the Dragon Palace in the mid in the kingdom of the Dragonians. Or, <clears throat> sorry, since we're underwater. The ruler of Orohine controls the other dragon. Better not let her go down. There, that works. Or, sorry. There. Does that does that sound like it's underwater, or does it just sound like I'm a strange dolphin man? Not just a man, dolphin man. And this area may seem a little bit familiar to you, besides the really strange low frame rates. That is concerning. That is really. Do you guys see this? Man, this is that was bad. This is really bad. Like, is it always like this, or am I just? Is it just special right now because the frame rates, man? It's going probably... Okami runs at, I'm pretty sure, uh, 30 frames per second is not a 60 FPS game. And it's prob it was probably running at about 20 there. And it, right now it's it's pushing 25. This is wacky. My guess it's, is it's because of the filter on the screen. It's kind of pushing the Wii, maybe? Or... Wait, let's zoom out. Or... Is it not 30 frames per second? It may just be the the effect of the water that they're that they're doing with the whole thing that we're underwater that is making it seem like it's low frame rate, but it did seem like it was really low there. I'm 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 not sure if you guys caught that. So here is the Dragon Palace. Uh, this is very familiar to got you guys because it's actually uh, very 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 similar to uh, the Sasa Sanctuary. In fact, it's it's more of a it's actually more of a reskin. Than anything, it's not a recolor. It's a reskin. Uh, if you look up there, there is where the great was named Jumba, uh, where he would swivel around in that great chair of his, and his assistants would blather on about how he was angry or happy or sad. Well, that's what that's what that is. So yeah. Halt, you white beast. What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? You talking to us? The Dragonian Kingdom is no place for land dwellers. State your names. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the one who let that you're the ones who let that water dragon run amok. I'm Isun, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko, ruler over Seon City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader Otohime for me. Chop chop. I'm no I'm I have no time for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Seon City? Then that white beast must be... Hey, what are you two blabbering on about? You're you going to go get Himiko or what? This way, O oh beast of white. Her Royal Highness will receive you in the throne room. Okay then, that's, that's a lot better. So, this area is pretty cool because... Like, this grass over here is not actually grass, it's like an anemone, because if we come close, it shrivels down into the, the ground. So that's, that's pretty cool. They have this whole aspect of... of... seeness. I don't know. <laughs> that's the best term I could, I could come up with. So yeah, that's, that's pretty neat. That's really, really neat. Okay, uh, let's see... Let's see, we have... I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Stray beads or anything. And I don't, I do not think I am. I doubt they would put a stray bead right here because it's so similar to Kusa, or sorry, Sasa Sanctuary. So they're probably not going to do that. And my guide indeed says that they aren't. Uh, but we will be heading into that go door next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, it's it's been a very interesting episode, and I can't wait to see how it plays out. Uh, and I hope you guys can't wait as well because this is a very very big step away from what anything that we've seen thus far from Okami. I mean, we had forests, and then we took uh, we took a big step away from that with beaches and ocean, and then s eventually city, but now we have this. This is not something that you'd expect. It's, it's just so colorful and beautiful. It just, it's so unique, and it, it just, it has always been a memorable part of the game for me. So, 
I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. Uh, and if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. Next time, we are going to be going into the Dragon Palace and hopefully meeting Otohime. Hopefully she won't, won't be a bad apple. Hopefully she'll follow Himiko's example. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami. And it's a no-brainer what this end slate's going to be. Oh.